Today we are going to talk about the valve train components in charge of performing the opening and closing of the intake and exhaust valves. The valves, valve guides, valve seats, valve springs, roto coils, locks, lifters, shaft, push rod, bracket, bridge, and rocker arms are all components held in the valve mechanism. Intake ports allow air to enter the cylinder and exhaust ports channel burned combustion gases from the cylinder. Intake valves open to admit fresh air into the cylinder and then close to hold the air in during the compression, power, and exhaust strokes. Exhaust valves are closed during the intake but opened during the exhaust strokes to allow exhaust gases to exit the cylinder. Due to the speed at which valves operate, they are exposed to high operating temperatures. To withstand these high temperatures, CTP valves are bimetallic or trimetallic, especially necessary for the exhaust valves, which are always exposed to higher temperatures. CTP trimetallic valves are welded at the seat with stellite to improve its endurance. This gives a higher hardness and resistance to chemical corrosion. When the valves are closed, they must form a tight seal to contain the high pressure of compression and combustion. Valve seats are inserted into the cylinder head for this purpose. Valve guides are the centering device to keep the valve from tilting and the valve face aligned with the seat as they move up and down inside the cylinder head. Around the top of the valve guide, a coil spring is attached to the valve stem. The pressure applied by the lever forces the valve down, opening the valve port in the cylinder head. When the rocker lever is released, the energy stored in the compressed valve spring forces the valves back up, closing the valve port. 